Okay, everyone. Uh, I'm going to do another uh, iPhone tutorial, iPhone programming tutorial. And uh, first, I wanted to uh, kind of apologize because it seems that I guess people have been writing me a bunch of uh, iPhone programming questions, and uh, I'm I'm really actually very much a beginner at the iPhone programming. So uh, I wanted to uh, let you know that if I don't respond to your questions, it's because you know, I, I probably don't know. So I'm putting these up as I learn iPhone programming because of the fact that there was so little information out there. And uh, I've found a lot of the people on the forums to be very, uh, uh, not only just not helpful, but very combative about if you didn't know everything about iPhone programming already. So I'm putting these out there. As I learn, you learn. So <clears throat> some people were asking about playing back video uh, on the iPhone uh, through a, an iPhone program and so I'm going to show you how to do that so uh, I'll show you a program that I have been working on here for the university I work for and what we have here is um, an interactive patient uh, you type questions in this question box and it will parse those questions and will play back a video response from the patient based on what you do and uh, <clears throat> so this is going to show you it's also if you click on this button tact I can't remember what this stands for it's some nursing thing uh, if you click on that this will play a video that is actually bundled with the program if you type in here it will play videos that are stored on a server so you get to see how to do both methods in this video now right now I just have like a little placeholder video there's nothing on it. it's just a, a little placeholder video later on when I get the actual tact video I'll put that in here and if I click on done it'll go back to the interface now I can't show you, for example, if I click in here and type in um, birthday, because one of the uh, responses was when when was your birthday, and you hit done. Now this runs actually on the actual device. It actually runs correctly. I've I've tested it many times, but um, what you'll find here is one of the quirks of uh, playing back videos in the iPhone simulator. And it took me a while to figure this out, but uh, what you'll find out here, I'll click done and I'll go back to this. And what you'll find is that one thing you have to be aware of is that videos with audio do not work correctly in the simulator. The tact video played correctly because of the fact that it had no audio with it. I don't know why that is, but you'll have to actually run the uh, program on your device if you want to get the videos to play back correctly. So let's get started. Number one thing we need to do is, uh, I believe you need to go in to your frameworks and you need to add the media player framework. Okay, because that's not something that comes uh, with this normally. Okay, and you can add that by going to frameworks, right click, and go to add um, existing frameworks, and you can browse for that media player framework. Okay, then you have to import the media player mediaplayer.h file up here in your import section okay so that's one thing you have to do if you don't you'll get all sorts of errors okay so I'll show you um, how I set this up and this is gonna be uh, an HD quality video so hopefully you'll be able to read this text uh, let me know later on if you can't for some reason and so I have an, an interface builder action set up um, linked to that uh, tact button I showed you play tact and um, uh, I've just set up this. This is just basically to, to get a, a path uh, on the device. And this is the video that I'm going to be playing back locally. And what I did was I actually have this video here, this M4V file, and I just dragged and dropped it into my resources here. And when I did that, it asked me if I wanted to add that. Okay, and I said yes. All right, and so now that tact video is actually going to be bundled with my iPhone uh, uh program so uh, when we want to um, what we're going to do is we're going to play a movie at a URL uh, and uh, in this case since it's playing back locally we have to use the bundle the bundles movie path as the URL so in this case all we're doing with these three lines of code is getting the the path inside of our program to where this uh, file is. So we have NS bundle, uh, main bundle, NS string movie path is the bundle path resource, and we have a string 
that is the name of the video and then of type at uh, and we have a string which is the uh, movies extension which is m4v in this case and once we have that we create a URL uh, NS URL uh, and I've called it my URL in this case and uh, file URL with path and movie path okay and so those three lines of code create the actual uh, path to the movie and then we just say self play movie at URL and then we feed it to my URL and now I'll show you the play movie at URL uh, function that I created which is down here a little ways I just created this function play movie at URL and it accepts a, 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 a NS URL as its argument and then here is the code that you need and some of this I've commented out you can see you could for example turn off the various controls turn off and on various things but this is the code that you need here to actually play a video okay so you can uh, go ahead and uh, pause this and look at that code. You, have, you just create an MP Movie Player Controller. I'm calling it the movie in this case. Uh, MP Movie Player Controller Alloc. In it with content URL, the URL, which is right here. Okay. And then we set the scaling mode, the movie control mode, so that we can have the uh, controls show when we tap on it. And then we set this NS notification uh, center and... Uh, we set that to uh, actually, uh, you know, respond to the movie uh, uh, movie playback. Uh, so this is going to be something that's going to allow the uh, program to respond to uh, callbacks from the movie when the movie is done playing, for example. Okay, and then finally we just say uh, the movie, which is a MP Movie Player Controller object, the movie play. Okay, so we have that. And that's our custom-made function here to play it. And the last thing we have to do is make sure that we include this function down here. Okay, if you don't do this, you're going to get uh, an error. It's going to hang the program up when you uh, when the video ends. And it's just overwrite, you know, just create this, this function. Just copy this verbatim. Uh, my movie finished callback. Okay, and just copy this right down. And uh, again, this uh, creates a MP Movie Player Controller and uh, NS Notification Center, and that's what responds to the uh, callbacks that the movie controller uh, makes. And uh, just set that up, and then just set release for the uh, Movie Player Controller object. Uh, that should be all you need. Um, and then hopefully, if not, there's um, I'll open these options up here. These are a couple other was the uh, functions that came with the uh, movie player controller uh, code that I found on Apple's website and I just include those as well. As you can see they're just empty though. That should be all you need to uh, start implementing some some videos. If you wanted to implement off of the uh, just the URL uh, off the server then obviously instead of having it you know you just feed it just a standard string uh, URL. As you can see here, we just fed it a string. Uh, I hope that helps out some, and uh, check back later for more tutorials.